President. Mr. President. Nice to see you all. Good to see you. Very good. Mr. President, can I jump right in if I may? Good sure. question. Good to see you. Great to see you. Uh, it's very noteworthy that under four years of President Trump, Vladimir Putin made no moves on any region, any country, anything he wants so dearly it's to bring true. back into the Soviet Union. Does his move and what's going on in Ukraine right now make it any more interesting for you, any more desires for you to run for president in 2024? I just think it's a shame what's going on. There was no reason for it. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, it would not have happened if our administration were in place. Uh, not even close. He always had a feeling for Ukraine, uh, but it would never have happened. Would have. Uh, what's happening today is so sad. When you watch it, when you see what's going on now, who knows where it's going? I mean, very brave people. These, the way they're fighting, it's an amazing thing. But uh, this would never have happened. Already, thousands of people are dead. This would have never happened. And does it make you want to run for president anymore? I just want to do what's right for the country, and that's what we'll do. We'll do what's right for the country. At the right time, we'll let you know. And thank you for that question. I appreciate that question. You know, we also gave a lot of the javelins that you're hearing so much about. We gave those javelins when President Obama was giving uh, sheets and pillows and, I guess, uh, blankets. That didn't help too much, but we gave javelins, a lot of them, too. And I guess that's uh, helping a lot. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yeah, please, go ahead. Nice How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Good. Um, I have a question for you about one of your pals, one of your friends. Um, text messages were recent released from, recently released from the January 6th committee, committee sent by Sean Hannity on January 6th. In it, it appears that he's contradicting what you were trying to tell your staff that day, and at least text messages to one senior staffer. Do you still consider Hannity a, a friend, an ally? Well, I don't know what messages you're talking about, but I think he's a great gentleman, a very talented person, and gets fantastic ratings, and certainly he speaks well of me. He agrees with what I'm saying, so I really but don't know. I haven't seen him. Messages? Oh, I haven't seen him, no. I haven't heard about him or seen him. No, I think he's fantastic. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, yeah, Mr. President uh, during your whole administration, the slogan, promises made, promises kept, it's resonated. Last year, you promised to roll out a social media platform that all Americans can jump on to secure their voice. Just two weeks ago, you rolled out True Social. Yeah. Would you please comment on the success of this rollout and how significant it is in our culture of communication? Well, I think it's been an incredible success. I mean, you have hundreds of thousands of people trying to get on, and we're doing it very slowly. You know, you open something like that. I had hundreds of millions of people, all of a sudden we had nobody, we had no voice, and now we're going to have a very strong voice again. Uh, we have uh, tremendous, uh, as you see, and we're getting tremendous reviews too on the platform itself, uh, but it's uh, slowly been opened. People are getting on and they're loving the product and we're getting a voice. When can we get your first post? Well, we'll be doing it pretty soon. I wanted to hold on a little bit, but people are loving it, as you know, and I love the fact that we got the word truth. Mr. Truth President, is a great word. Yeah. Right now, the app, as as of this morning, the waiting list is closing in on one million people. Has that even exceeded your expectations? I thought it would do very well. I've done very well in this world, and I thought it would do very well. But the two things I'm really happy about: they love it once they get on, and the list of people wanting to get on is record breaking. So we're very happy. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yeah, please. Hi a lot of bravery from Russia, or Ukrainian President Vladimir uh, Zelensky. 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 And, you know, he's not abandoning his people. He's saying and taking up arms with his countrymen. If you were in a similar situation as president, would you take up arms like Zelensky? Well, you know, you never know about bravery. Some people think they're brave and they're not brave, and other people don't think of themselves as very brave and they step up. You never know until you get tested. And uh, he's being tested at the highest level. And so far, he's really shown great leadership and great bravery. Uh, they say he was an actor or a comedian, and all of that's fine. But he is showing a lot of bravery so far. And hopefully, hopefully we won't have to need that too much longer, because maybe things can end. This yeah. should not happen. This should never have happened. And Putin has, he said that he Well, that's what he thinks. I believe he does think that, and it's probably true. But he is showing great bravery, absolutely. Mr. 
Mr. President, the Department of Justice uh, under your administration opened up a basically a China espionage initiative. Now the Department of Justice has shut that down. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm surprised they did. We were very careful with that. And China, as you know, is a is a very big player, but it's a uh, it can be a very dangerous player in so many different ways, especially in that we had it very well shut down and now they're opening it up. And I'm surprised to see that. I don't think we should be doing that, but that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. I think it's a big mistake. Mr. President, are yes, you sir? confident in the election integrity measures that have been instituted by certain legislatures in Pennsylvania particularly? Are you concerned about this fall? Well, a lot of things are going on in Pennsylvania. As an example, uh, many subpoenas are out and they're seeing the kind of corruption that we've all seen, that I've seen. Uh, when you look at the uh, uh, ballot harvesting that has been like hundreds of thousands of votes. And this is just now coming out. And we have it on tape. They have it on ping. So ping is now a modern day fingerprint. And it's conclusive and it's determinative. But Pennsylvania, I know, is, uh, as you know, over the last three or four months, they've become very active because they found out that I believe they found out that it was a big scam in Pennsylvania. And it's been a scam in many other states, too. Do you feel it's been fixed? I don't know that they're fixing it. I know that I think they're finding out what happened more importantly right now, because you really have to find out what happened in order to properly fix it. And I think uh, they have some very good leadership right now in Pennsylvania that, and I'm not talking about the governor who doesn't want anything to do with it because he understood what happened, but we have some very good Republican leadership in Pennsylvania and they're finding out tremendous things that took place during the 2020 presidential election. It was a scam what took place in Pennsylvania and other mostly swing states, probably other states also, but they focused on the swing states. Mr. Mr. President, how concerned are you that uh, China might move on Taiwan uh, based on what's happening right now with Ukraine? And are there also concerns uh, that North Korea might be uh, getting a little anxious as well to go back in and, and reunify? Well, we did very well with North Korea. As you remember, we were supposed to go to war with North Korea. We never came close. I got along with Kim Jong-un very well. Uh, we had a very good relationship. A lot of people say, oh, that's terrible that he had a relationship. Well, we had a very good relationship. Uh, we got along and we didn't have nuclear holocaust. We didn't have, because he has a lot of nukes and a lot of different, we know exactly what he's got and it's very substantial. Uh, he seems not to like President Biden very much and we'll see what happens there. Uh, with China and others, I've been saying for a long while now that Look, I happen to think that the withdrawal, the way we withdrew from Afghanistan was one of the most embarrassing moments in the history of our country. I actually think that if that didn't take place, you might not have what's happening in Ukraine right now. I think when Putin saw that and when President Xi of China witnessed that, I think he has a whole different design right now than he would have had before that. I think they looked at that and, and saw it grossly incompetent. Uh, losing soldiers, leaving Americans behind, uh, 75 to $85 billion worth of the best military equipment in the world, leaving that behind, having the military move first. I, I think it's one of the most embarrassing moments. And I really think that's a contributing factor to what's happening today in Ukraine. And I think it's going to also lead to a similar thing happening in Taiwan. They wanted to get the Olympics finished. The Olympics are now finished. Let's see what happens. You know, yesterday bombers flew over airspace. First time in many, many decades that's happened. That would have never again happened during my administration. And a lot of people, even the radical left, I saw Chuck Todd said the other day, how come he was talking to Blinken or somebody? He said, how come this never happened in the four years that President Trump was there? That was a shocking question. And they were unable to answer that question. Someday I'll write a book and I'll tell you why it never happened, but it never happened. We have seven one, one last There's a very, very important question to be asked. What is the one sanction or the two sanctions that have not been implemented to stop Vladimir Putin that you would implement given a, a Trump presidency? Sanctions. Now, you have to understand, sanctions are very expensive for our country also. But the one that people are talking about, which is very, very severe, as you know, is SWIFT. And that just really destroys a banking system of a country. Uh, it's a very big step, and uh, we'll see whether or not that step is taken. But uh, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people could die with this, 
and this could spread to other countries and it could spread throughout the world. I mean, this could be a world war. Something has to be done. Should have never started and it did and something has to be done. So that would be the one that seems to be uh, on most people's minds. If you read, if you see, if you study, that seems to be the one so that's given the, situation uh, the most now, powerful. What should be done? If you were president right now, the, the situation is what it is now, so to say it wouldn't have gotten here. What should Joe Biden do? What should Biden do? Well, I think do? I know exactly what should be done. Number one, we shouldn't be here. But on the assumption that we're here, yep. and that's a big assumption, but it's happened. Uh, we, uh, there are things that he should do. I would rather not tell him under this forum. I don't think it's appropriate to say that, but there are things he could do that would be very strong, very powerful, and I think would end it pretty quickly. But remember this, we are the greatest nuclear power. When I was in office, I had it rebuilt, modernized, and also rebuilt our military, also started Space Force, which has a lot to do with what we're talking about. But we're the greatest nuclear power. But Russia has an almost equal nuclear power. And China is five years behind, but they have very substantial nuclear power. We all have to be very careful. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you all. Thank you. God bless. Thank Hope you. the family's doing well. Hope the family's doing well. Thank you all very much. Thank you. I like you people. We love you too, Mr. President. Thank you. Let's go. 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 Let's go.